So hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Um, in this video, I want to show you how the stage caliper works. The stage caliper, that is the small scale that you see um, in the mechanical stage. And this stage caliper allows you to make very precise adjustments and measurements on, of concerning the position of the slide. So this is going to be a short tutorial video uh, because if you know how the stage caliper works, then you also have a very good method of actually measuring out small distances under the microscope. So there are actually two stage uh, calipers, one for the x-axis and one for the y-axis and uh, by moving uh, the stage uh, you can see that uh, the small scale in this case um, always uh, moves in relation to the larger scale. And uh, this allows for a very precise positioning and also for measurement uh, of uh, certain things under the microscope. And here is a close-up. And what you can see now is, is uh, that the large scale, these are millimeters, so it goes from 10, 20, 30, all the way up to, I don't know, 50, 60, 70. And then there is a large, a smaller scale. And the smaller scale, while it also goes to from 1 to 10, the lines are a little bit closer together. And so you can see that on the smaller scale, the smaller scale ends there where there is the 9 on the larger scale. It still goes all the way to 10, uh, but uh, the lines are closer together. And uh, what we're going to, what you can see now in this case, uh, when the zeros are aligned, that all of the other lines uh, do not match up, okay? So they're always shifted in relation to each other. In this case, uh, the, the zero line and also the, the tenth line on the smaller scale, they are lined up. So value number 10 on the smaller scale is lined up with a 9 on the larger scale. Yeah, but um, all of the other lines are not lined up and that is an important concept. So I'm going to demonstrate this now a little bit here. So you can see that now this line here, that's 1, 2, 3, the third line on the smaller scale is lined up. And all of the lines below and above it are not lined up. Okay. So that is an important concept. We always have to look for the pair of lines that are lined up. Here, for example, uh, this is the sixth one is lined up and all of the lower ones and higher ones are not lined up anymore, right? Okay, and then if we uh, keep on moving it always a little bit, we will see that um, it's always a pair of lines that's lined up. So now let's uh, try to um, apply this um, a little bit and let's uh, try to read off uh, some values. So in this case, uh, for example, this is two millimeters and hmm, I don't know, about half, two, let's say around 2.5 millimeters just by guesstimating, by guessing it, because you can see that the zero line is between the second and the third one. But what we do now is we look for the pair of lines that's lined up, okay? And that's the one here, and that is the fifth line on the smaller scale. So this means it's 2.5 millimeters, okay? It's uh, 2.5 millimeters because the fifth line here is exactly lined up. Okay, now this is uh, 2.6. Now you can see that the sixth line is lined up. Okay, you can see it's a little bit further than the half, a little bit more than the half, so 2.6 uh, makes sense. Okay, if we move it um, yet a little bit uh, further, um, then it's now it's 2.7. Okay, you can see that the seventh line is, is lined up. So we're always moving it uh, by one tenth of a millimeter. Okay. Um, that's, that's actually quite nice because uh, this stage caliper gives you a possibility to uh, get a precision of a tenth of a millimeter. Yeah, and then now that's, uh, yeah, three, okay? Yeah, so that's uh, basically an, at the third millimeter it's at zero and uh, the tenth uh, small line is uh, yeah, also lined up now, okay? So that is uh, 3.0 millimeters. So, yeah, let's uh, try another one here. For example, this is one, two, three, four millimeters and a little bit. Um, okay, what could this be? Um, maybe 4.1, 4.2. Let's look which one is lined up. Uh, I think maybe the second one is pretty much lined up or the third one. Okay, so this would be 4.2, yeah? 4.2 millimeters um, and uh, that is uh, very convenient uh, because especially always at higher magnifications if you write down the coordinates um, up with a precision up to a tenth of a millimeter then you can actually easily find the, the specimen uh, again okay so that is uh, basically a, a short introduction here um, this is not a new concept uh, this is a so-called slide rule 
Um, they're not used anymore, obviously, but before the advent of digital calculators, uh, people used those slide rules uh, to actually make calculations. And uh, it's, used, uh, it's using a similar principle. We have to basically align uh, two different scales, and sometimes it's like this that the scales basically, yeah, um, are the, the lines are shifted against each other, okay? Um, so that is, uh, the concept is nothing new here. It's been around for, for quite um, a long time. Um, and uh, last but not least, I also want to show you now a regular caliper for measuring out distances. And this one is actually even more uh, precise. Uh, that is um, an analog caliper. Works uh, in the same way. I can theoretically also measure the diameter of this pen if I want to. Um, and uh, then I can read it off in a similar way. So you can actually see that uh, this is now uh, yeah, 10 millimeters and a little bit more. So what I have to do now is I have to look or read on the smaller scale. So that's 10 millimeters. And now I have to find a pair of lines that is matched up. I'm going ahead a little bit. Uh, that's not matched up. And I don't know, where is it? Where could it be? Yeah, maybe, yeah, 10.6 and 5, 10.65, okay? So the diameter of the pen at this place was 10.65. So you can see that this caliper is even even more precise, um, but uh, the, the concept is, is pretty much the same. Um, those calipers actually do also have a use in microscopy because uh, what you can do is, is you can measure out the thickness um, of cover glasses. That is now one uh, cover glass, and uh, what you can easily do is, is you simply can measure the diameter of, of one cover glass. Um, it should be around 0 0.15 millimeters. Um, that is, these are the standard, standard cover glasses. Um, uh, actually, um, on the microscope objective, it says 0 0.17 millimeters that it should be, but uh, this is because sometimes the specimen is a little bit further down into the mounting medium, so you give a, a 0. Uh, zero uh, two millimeters yeah, of tolerance here yeah um so this one would be um yeah what is this uh yeah zero around 0 0.1 millimeters actually yeah um, not all slides are uh, not all cover glasses i want to say not all cover glasses have the same thickness there is a variation here as well um but you can see that the zero the 0 0.1 millimeter line is is lined up um of course if you want to do this a little bit uh, yeah uh, more more precisely then you want to probably stack up uh, 10 uh, cover glasses um, and you measure out 10 cover glasses and then you divide it by 10 because this also reduces the, the error a little bit. Yeah, in this uh, case, let's see what do we have here. It is uh, one millimeter and uh, one millimeter and one and a half. Yeah, it's around one and a half. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, one and let's uh, see which lines uh, match up here. Let's see. Let's see. It's one and a half around which lines match up. I have to find the matching line. 1.5. 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.6, yeah, I think 1.60, that could be the, that could be the thickness um, of 10 cover glasses, yeah, so you can see we're getting a little closer here, yeah, um, actually some people actually do this uh, uh, because uh, for very high um, re resolution microscopy you actually need to have a very um, precise uh, measurement of the cover glass thickness. So actually there are so those calipers around that people actually use to measure out the thickness of a cover glass. Um, for amateur purposes, I think it's not necessary, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit just uh, showing you a proof of concept here. Okay, so this is um, uh, here you simply also to show you that the principle is the same here as well. Um, yeah, of course you want to place uh, all of them back again into your little plastic container. Yeah, so this is basically uh, what we uh, uh, what I wanted to show you, um, and uh, you also want to write down, of course, in permanent slides the interesting objects that you find. For temporary slides, of course, it doesn't make sense to write down the values because you're not going to keep the slide anyway, um, and also uh, because the the objects always change. Okay. So, well, this uh, was it. Uh, I hope uh, that uh, you found the video useful. Please like and subscribe if you did find it useful. Um, I wish you um, all the best and uh, have a nice day. And as always, happy micro hunting.